Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Meadow Lake Mustangs gallop to success. Get along with others, attend school regularly, listen and follow directions, learn for a lifetime, own our behavior, practice good character. Please pause for a moment of silence and reflect on what you want to accomplish today. Today is March 12, 2018. Have a marvelous Monday, Mustangs. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Kayla Berg and Jonathan Mitchell. Have a great birthday. This is Blake Harris bringing you today's weather, which is a high of 65 and a low of 44 with a 0% chance of rain. I'm hopping in for today's joke of the day. Today's joke is, why is it difficult to talk to a goat? They're always butting in. Here's today's hot fact. Did you know that Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system? It is so big that more than 1,300 Earths could fit in it inside it. Chapter 1 Mojo the Director It was just a normal day at school for Mojo until an unexpected announcement. This is Miss Clara speaking. We are now casting for our school's production of Grease the Musical. We're looking for actors, set designers, and a director. If you're interested, please come to my trailer after school. Guys, said Mojo, catching his breath. I'm going to direct Greece, and I want my friends to be a part of it. What? said Katie. Mojo, none of us have ever done theatre before. All the more reason to start now, said Mojo. Gabby, your art skill will be great for set design. Bear, you can be on lighting, and Katie and Bruce, you can be our stars. They imagined creating an amazing show together. They decided to go for it. Opening night was approaching quickly, but the set was still far from ready, and Bruce and Katie had not yet found their stride as actors. I'm sorry, said Katie. I forgot my line again. That's okay, said Mojo. We're all learning. Just then, Maya from the school paper stopped by to see how the play was going. Excuse me, Mojo. Maya here from the Monster Herald. Four days until opening night. Will your team be ready? I think so, said Mojo. We're all working really hard. Well, said Maya, I just hope you don't embarrass yourselves. Thanks for your time. For the first time, Mojo began to feel anxious about the play. Did he set his friends and himself up for total failure? He suddenly snapped at Katie. Katie, study the script tonight, said Mojo. Don't forget. At the next day's rehearsal, as he read the school paper, a strange feeling of anxiety grew inside Mojo. Mojo, said Katie, I can't remember this line. Can you help me? In a split second, 
the anxious feeling rapidly grew. Mojo began to sweat. He was suddenly furious. Do any of you even care about the play? He yelled. There was silence on the set. Katie, he said. I, I never should have let you be in my play. You don't think I'm trying, said Katie. Fine, you can do it yourself because I quit. Katie rushed off the stage. The other monsters followed. No one wanted to work with Mojo when he was acting like this. Mojo's fury turned to a panic. Opening night was only three days away, and his own friends had walked off set. Green man, said Bruce, I've got some friends you should meet, but we've got to move quickly. Bruce guided Mojo down a mysterious dark hallway. They came to a locked door that Mojo had never seen. Mojo heard a gruff voice growl, Password. Bruce smiled and uttered a strange word, Empathy. For a while, nothing happened. Then the door creaked open. What do you think happened to Mojo? How will he be able to save his play? Hmm. Now that is an interesting question indeed. <laughs>